Hey, how's you going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grandpa's Workshop. Something nice that we have you in the shop again today. Uh, I got my parts washer together and what I'm going to start today is start cleaning up those parts from that little, uh, I think it's a three and a half horsepower lawn mower engine that I have, vertical shaft. We're going to start uh, cleaning up those parts. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the parts washer in action. And I think what's going to happen as I'm using it, I'm going to discover some weaknesses, <laughs> some flaws in the design. Oh man, can you imagine? But as we discover these little things or little tweaks that I can make to make it uh, work better, operate better, more comfortable, uh, we'll do them and we'll throw those into this video clip as well. I hope that I'm going to get everything washed up and laid out on the bench somewhere so I can show you all the parts. And we'll go from there. So have a look and see. It appears that the pump, as the batteries wear out in the pump, it just doesn't have enough oomph to pump the fluid up. So I'm going to, I am going to have to raise the bucket up off the ground, off the floor, to get it higher to uh, make it easier to pump. So I guess I'll have to make a little mod. Alright, so there's what I did. I put a, just another piece of asmonite down here for a floor. Put my bucket on it, put my pump on it, ran the pump into the other side now of the cooler so I can spray with my left hand as I scrub with my right hand because I'm right handed so that works out alright. So maybe we'll try that. The uh, bucket's about six inches off the floor now so it might work a little better, we'll see. It's hard to get out the switch. Looks a little better. It's better because I can spray it with my left hand and scrub with my right hand. That makes a difference. And that's the first time that happened. I lost my brush. Oh. There we go. Better back. Imagine you can get some of the crud off it, but it's going to be a slow process. You know, the spray nine is not the best uh, cleaning solution, but it is degreasing pretty good, I must say. So, other than it taking a bunch of time and whatnot, I think it's going to work okay. Alright, so uh, here in my bucket I'm struggling with the way the hose was connected to the pump. Where it was coming straight out, it, it was making a big swoop and I, the hose was getting to be short in my uh, cooler. So I went back in my little parts stash and I found this elbow here, which was a male one inch thread on that side, female one inch thread on this side. Just worked perfect. I can adapt that in there and turn that right up. 
Now the thing is, how do I keep that pump steady? Because like it just hangs down like that. So what I think I'm going to do is bring that up that high, and that also raises the bottom of the pump a little bit. Uh, well, it does kind of two things. It raises the pump a little bit off the bottom of the barrel, which which uh, brings it up higher, means it doesn't have to pump so far. And it puts the switch outside the back of the uh, parts washer so that it's easier to get to. Uh, I was had a hard time finding it there a little bit ago. So what I'm going to do is I have a tie wrap here. I'm just going to put that tie wrap around this. Just to hold that in place. Something like that. And we'll try that. So these are one of those little... Uh, online mods that we're going to make as we uh, use the parse washer a little bit and just discover what its limitations are so we'll know what we can do to fix it. So that should hold that there pretty good. And it pumps. That's always a good thing too, right? So I just want to show you up here now uh, as we raise our nozzle up it stops pumping. As I put it down, it'll start pumping again. So it looks like it can only pump about maybe four feet above the bottom of the pump. But that's a pretty good stream there, better than it was anyway. And I've got a lot more holes to play with while in the cooler. So that's good. So we're going to continue to clean these parts. That can be very exciting. Well, you know, uh, I had visions of this coming just sparkly clean, <coughs> but that ain't going to happen. Not with this cleaner anyways, the cleaning solution I have. But hopefully I'll get a lot of the gunky and gooey parts off it. I'd like it to be just sparkling clean like a brand new looking motor, but uh, I don't think that's going to come to be. What I need is uh, some sort of rig to hold my hose so that, can, that I can aim it without having to hold it with one hand so then I can hold the piece with the other and brush with the other. So I'll have to come up with something to do that. In the meantime there's a seal in here I want to get out. seeing lots of little ports, hey, like that port right there. And what I'm hoping to find out too from going through all this is like why is that port there? Like is that port there just to pump fluid out to that seal, keep it moist, keep it from breaking down? That's the sort of thing I'm interested in finding out, right? I want to find out everything I can about the engine. And then I'll understand them better when they're not feeling good. The, uh, the spray 9 cleaner is working not too bad I must say but it's not the answer. It's, uh, it's not eating through the, the grime as good as I wanted it to. I just assume not use a solvent based cleaner because it's so flammable, but maybe I'm going to be forced into it. 
and also I wanted this parts washer to be uh, made totally from bits and pieces that I found around at the shop here and in the around the camp without having to go buy anything uh, and if I need solvent base I'll have to go get some solvent I'll have to go buy that heavens forbid yeah the poor old pump look I raise the hose up it won't go I think my battery's just about dead too Anyway, it's not as clean as I want it, but uh, we'll just set that aside and let it dry and we'll start cleaning some more parts. So we're going to continue to clean those parts and uh, clean them as best I can. Uh, like I say, with that cleaner, I don't know that I'm going to get the parts sparkling clean, but I'll get them, uh, I think, hopefully clean enough that I can lay them out and examine them closely to see what's what. and. Uh, I'd also like to uh, do some examination just to see what all the uh, the orifices, the channels, the whatnot that are drilled in the in the block and in the head and around the carburetor, see what all those little channels and ports are for, uh, just so I can understand it a little bit better. So thanks for tuning in to this little video folks. Uh, it's not a very long one, it's just I wanted to show that parts washer in operation and some of the changes I made to it already and some of the changes that I'd like to make to it. And uh, I have a bunch of parts to clean now, so like I was saying earlier, hopefully we'll get the parts cleaned up good and we'll get them all laid up there on the bench and start to put them back together. And speaking of putting back together, there's lots of people in Nova Scotia that have to start putting things back together after those horrific events of last weekend. I can't fathom, even for an instant, what was going through that person's mind when he wreaked the carnage that he wreaked throughout central Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is a small province, uh, mostly rural, uh, and it's a tight community in the rural areas. And uh, it seems like everybody knows everybody, and if, if you don't know everybody, you know someone who knows someone who knows some, if you know what I'm trying to say there. And there's not one person, I dare say, in the province, not one person in our province that was not touched because they knew someone who knew someone or they actually knew people who were touched, hurt, or brutally murdered in that event of last weekend. So please, folks, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this, please take a moment, close your eyes, say a prayer, for the poor families that have to put things back together. Kids with no parents anymore. It's terrible. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. We'll talk to you soon.